Dear customer, good day. This is Larry from Dynamo. Today, it is a great pleasure to invite our technical manufacturing centers. Yeah, this is Clark. Okay, thanks Larry. This is Clark from Dynamo. Okay, today we will talk about the topics of the lithium ion pack for the electrical vehicles. In recent years, with the improvements of the environmental awareness from the human being, Dynamo Tech, as the largest battery manufacturers in China, not only focus on the starter battery on the lithium ion battery, but also has invested the lithium ion battery pack for the electrical vehicles. With the strong policy of the Chinese government, Dynamo Tech has devoted into the lithium ion pack of the vehicles. Take a look around the world. We found that most of the customers they start to use the lithium ion pack for their electrical vehicles. So maybe you could ask the questions. What is the advantage of the lithium ion pack for the batteries? Okay, Clark will show it to you. Okay, thanks, Larry. Now it's my turn. Well, it's my pleasure to share with this uh, for you. One, with the more and more strict environmental laws and the regulations, people also pay more attention on emissions than before. Many automakers to handle this, they develop, develop hybrid electrical vehicle and the electrical vehicle so as to lower the emission as possible what's more especially for electrical vehicle without the engine the experience of drying as vibration noise and harshness will be improved so in my opinion the electrification of the transportation will be a future trend. While this, they all need to lithium ion battery pack to power. Two, <clears throat> with the development of the lithium ion battery pack technology, the previous scenario of using lead S battery are gradually replacing by a lithium ion battery, such as starter battery for motorcycle and the automobile communication base stations and so on compared with the traditional lead s battery the lithium ion battery has five advantages one lightweight two service life three environmental friendly four charge retention and the five high energy density 3. <clears throat> Nowadays, uh, the lithium ion battery can be flexible from which from a very huge one which can power a light truck which over two times to a very smaller one which can just power the e-bike. Nowadays, due to the coronavirus impact, the private transportation is also in demand, especially for e-bike, will also become good seller. <clears throat> for its advantage of lightness and the causes. And the, our company has focused on this market already and uh, launched this series of products. We launched 40 volt series used for e-bike and they are 40 volt, 48 volt, 12 amp power, 40 volt, 40 volt, 48 volt, 15 amp power and uh, 48 volt, 20 amp power. While for this, it is 60 volt, 20 amp power for two wheel electrical vehicle. 
So, because we got limited time, I will just pick up the typical one to present for you. Let's look at this. This is the 48 volt 15 amp power. It is usually used for e-bike, two-wheel e-bike. Uh, it has 253 millimeter long, 72 millimeter wide, 142 millimeter height. Its nominal voltage is about 48 volts. The nominal capacity capacity is 15 amp hour. As you can see, it has only one port, so this port is both for charging and discharging, which this can reducing the capacity of designing. <coughs> for the current, for the maximum continuous current, five amp for charging, fifteen amp for discharging. The operating temperature. Okay, Craft. So, what are these for the lithium island pack? Uh, could you introduce them for us? Yes, definitely. We have 48 volt series used for e bike. They are 48 volt 12 amp power, 48 volt 15 amp power, 48 volt 20 amp power and the 60 volt, 60 volt, 20 amp power for two-wheel electrical vehicle because we got limited time so I will just choose what typical one 14 amp volt, 15 amp power to present for you as for this product it has got 253 millimeter long 72 millimeter wide 142 millimeters height. Uh, the shell, it is plastic. Actually, it is PC plus ABS. The IP level can reach IP65. As you can see, it just got only one port. This port is both for charging and discharging. So <clears throat> we don't need two ports, which can reduce the complexity of designing. The max continuous current 5 amp for charging and 15 amp for discharging. As the operating temperature range 0 to 45 degrees for charging, minus 10 to 60 for discharging. These are the basic panel parameters customer usually interested in. Okay, Grab, could you introduce some of them in detail for us? Yes. Um, so, and, uh, some further details. This, this products, uh, we need to pass the a third series of testing. There are three categories. The first one is performance testing, including cycle life, different C-rate discharging capacity, and the room temperature, and the discharge discharging capacity at different temperature, storage. Uh, the second category is environmental testing, including vibration, damp heat. The third one is safety of use testing includes short circuit, overcharging, over discharging, reverse charging, and so on. <clears throat> For the performance testing and the environmental testing, they are simulating the real conditions if the product will suffer and to examine where our product can meet the requirements, perform its 
expected to be. As for the safety of use testing, <clears throat> after the severe testing, we don't expect it to work normally, but we hope it can be stable and uh, no, ex no heat, no, exp no smoke, no explosion. Make sure the safety and the health of our end users. <clears throat> so, I think I will pick up two of them to introduce to you. <clears throat> First one, the cycle life. Uh, step one, we ch charge the battery with 0.5C to the specified voltage, then continue charging at this constant voltage while the charging current tapping until the current reducing to the 0.02C and this charging process must be less than 8 hours and the charging procedure must conduct it under 25 degrees then let it rest for at least 13 minutes after rest discharge it with 0.5c to the end of voltage or the minimum voltage of the cell reach the specified value so first time we will get the initial capacity after that the, dis the discharging pr process also need to be conducted under room temperature which means 25 plus minus 2 degrees <coughs> then repeat the step 1 to step 3 cycle and cycle and uh, maybe you will ask, when will it be stopped? Well, we will cycle it until the final time that capacity equal or less than 70 of the initial capacity. We will let it, let it stop and record how many cycles have endured. I know this is pretty time consuming. Uh, the requirement we want it to be at least a hundred times to reach 70 of capacity. Next, uh, for vibration test, the charging procedure is the same. Fully charge it under room temperature with 0.5 C current to the voltage specified and then let the charging current current reducing to 0.05 C. After charging, we fasten it to the vibration test bench. Then following the parameters, the frequency 16.7 Hz. The discharging current 0.5 C. The amplitude 2 mm. Vibr the direction is vertical, up and down. The dur vibration duration 1 hour. After the vibration 1 hour passed, and uh, we still let the battery is charging to the end of voltage. <clears throat> the requirement at least 90% of the ca initial capacity for this discharging capacity and the check the whole sample must no crack, <clears throat> no damage, no loose of the connections. Actually, this vibration test is usually to the exact the robots the design of robots to check the structure path like battery case the break inside 
<coughs> and the bus bump where it is strong enough to anti vibration. Yeah, that sounds amazing. <clears throat> Our products also need to pass a series of testing, like UN 38.3, CE, and so on. Just now you mentioned the blanket and the bus part, and so what are these? Okay, good question. Let me test, demonstrate them for you. Briefly introduce them. <clears throat> Like a like battery case and the bracket, they are the stru structure parts. Bracket, uh, it is a part that holds the cells and uh, make sure no displacement between the cells, hold them tightly. And uh, we require it has a certain strength to anti external force uh, as for the application on e-bike we also want it to be light as possible the rating of anti-fire is V0 according to the UL94 standard <coughs> and the battery case is similar with the bracket but it needs to house it the battery group including the protection circuit board and the sail uh, while for the bus bar it is connect the sails with connect them all together make them working all the same same charging same discharging the requirement for the bus bar it has two points one is Good conductivity for electricity. Two is the when working, uh, we will create less heat. Okay, incredible. And um, where we introduce briefly. Uh, okay. They are the, these are the auxiliary parts, but uh, the major parts are the sales and the protection circuit board. For sales, we have got 1865 zero sales. It's a theoretical type. It is, yes, like this, right. It means well, you can compare with these two. This is 21.70 and uh, this one is 26.65.0. That means in diameter it is 18 millimeters, 65 millimeters high. <coughs> it has a 3.6 volt, volt nominal voltage. Uh, 2.9 ampere hour nominal capacity is the minimum capacity should be at least 2.75 ampere hour. This is the major part of this battery pack. It went up to 44 plus minus 2 grams. It's the max continuous current is 2.9 amp for charging and uh, 5.8 amp for discharging the operating temperature is from 0 to 45 for charging minus 20 to 60 for discharging this uh, the cell also needs to pass uh, a series of testing to prove this ability which also makes sure the ability of the pack is the same with the three categories performance testing, environmental testing and the safety of use testing 
the performance testing is also cyclized. Different C red discharging capacity under room temperature. Different C red discharging capacity under different uh, this, sorry, discharging capacity under different room temperature. Self discharge. Uh, high and low temperature. Actually, high temperature storage, and so on. Uh, by environmental testing, including vibration, low air pressure, and so on. Uh, for safety of use testing, includes overcharge, over discharge, short circuit, and the heating under. 130 degrees. Okay, if these cells pass the certification test, like the battery back? Yes, uh, it needs to, you have, you have mandatory inspection report, which covers uh, list 1860 and uh, 2170. For the testing I've mentioned, I will pick up two different, uh, different from pack. The one is the first one is the high temperature storage. First one we will charge the cell to four point two volts with zero point five C, and then the tapping the current to 0 0.02 C. It's the same. The charging process need to be conducted under room temperature 25 mi plus minus 2 degrees. And uh, then they rest for 30 minutes. After rest, discharge the cell with 1 C to 2.75 volts. Then we will get the initial capacity. After we get the initial capacity, we also fully charge it with the same process and rest for 30 minutes. After rest, discharge it with 1C, but this time only for half hours. After that, we put this cell into a temperature chamber which maintains the temperature at 45 degrees. Let you guess. Okay. We'll, and let you guess how many days will it preserve? After introducing the cells, what about the other ones? You are joking. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you the answers. It is a, about 28 days. Mm. Yes. So it is pretty time consuming. <clears throat> and after the preservation, we take it out and put it under room temperature for five hours to let it recover. After recovery, then we discharge it, fully dis discharge it to the end of voltage. And then we, the same, charge it and uh, discharge it get the recovery cap capacity. The recovery capa capacity should be at least 80% of the initial capacity. It sounds pretty severe, right? Yes. The, let me introduce the next one, the drop test. It, it will be more severe than this one. Yes. Uh, it is still the same, we fully charge it with 0.5C to the voltage to the 4.2 volt and then let it, after it fully charged uh, we will let it just free fall drop it to from a height of 1.5 meters positive terminal one time negative terminal one time respectively Without the protection of the battery case, we, we wanted no heat, no leakage, 
no smoke, no fire, no explosion. Okay, how about the protection circuit board? Okay, um, the protection circuit board is another major part for the, this battery pack. Yes. It's like a control system. Mm. They manage the sales to let them function well. And uh, uh, I will introduce some typical parameters to you to let you have the basic ideas. For the over voltage protection of single cells, its typical value is 4.25 volts. The under voltage of single cell, is, the typical value is 2.8 voltage. And the over current, its typical value is up to 63 amp. Uh, we this also have the high temperature protection for charging. Uh, the typical value is 50 degrees. Low temperature te protection of charging minus seven. High temperature protection for discharging up to 60. So as you can see, this protection circuit board has a comprehensive protection function including overcharge, over discharge, short circuit, high and low temperature protection. Yeah, wonderful. But as far well as I know, we don't produce the protection circuit board by ourselves. So how do you conduct a management from our supplier who provide the bus board and the uh, and others. Yeah, good question. So let refer to the management of our suppliers. First run, we will uh, search online or by pub public finding uh, yellow pages uh, and so on and stuff this all kind of this way to get the information. <clears throat> then we will contact with them and uh, want them to provide some data about their production value and the R&D capabilities and so on. After that, we will audit them to, to their factory to check whether it is true. After they become our suppliers because they have the potential we will get into cooperation with each other. We, uh, we will evaluate them in terms of the price, the cost, the delivery debt, all these factors into account. Evaluate and uh, write all of this performance appraisal in a, in a list, which and the uh, rating, rating them from ABC supply, supplier. As for protection circuit board, this is major part. It is important. And uh, in terms of the management, uh, the supply chain management, we also want, it, want the manufacturer of the protection circuit board to manage their suppliers the same as we manage them. <clears throat> if some suppliers cannot develop, keep up with our pace, first time we will give them a chance to improve with our help. But if they still cannot reach our requirement, then we will inform them we have been cancelled their qualification and cancel the cooperation. Then next we will find another one. Okay, award subs. So, can you briefly introduce us uh, how is the 40A board and the 15 amperes hours of the lithium ion pack? How to. You mean how to produce? Yeah, the beam produced. Okay, no problem. First one, we need to select the sales 
and must be no damage, no rupture. Mm. It is. Yeah. It must be okay. And uh, we we are grading them according to three factors: the voltage, the capacity, and the internal resistance. The max differences of the capacity shall be less than thirty milli amp hour. The max differences between voltage shall be less than six milli volts, and the internal resistance or the max in the in max differences between internal resistance shall be less than five milli or omega. After we selecting in enough qualified sales when we we will put them into the brackets according to the instructions and uh, we after installing we also arrange a worker to check the arrange of polarities whether it is right or wrong if <coughs> some one or some wrong, pick them out and uh, correct it. Yeah. Need to be make sure the per all the polarities are direct right. Then we will put a nickel band on it and uh, put it on a special tools. Send it to the send this assembly to the automatic weather, spot weather, mm. then the machine will automatically weld it and after welding, we will take it out and uh, check whether the welding spot it is perfect, is it exact some void weld or because the current, over current, the spot welding current too high, so it will some defect and we will do some corrective actions if this is okay then we will go to next step <coughs> and uh, we will assemble the protection circuit board yeah. and uh, we are using a special tool to measure each, each voltage of the, each series within the right range then we will put it onto Capacity testing. First, we fully charge it, and then rest and discharge it to the end of voltage. At the end of the discharging, we will check whether the capacity is meet the requirements, as well as the max difference between voltages. <coughs> After that, if it is okay. Then we'll put this semi. Remember, it is still semi products at this time. We will put it to the share mm -hmm. or battery case. Yes. And uh, put a cover on it and screw it. Then we will use a uh, white clothes to clean it using the alcohol mm -hmm. and uh, put the label and uh, coding Fi uh, finally this is also this is we now we can call it the finished product but before before it's send it to the our warehouse we need to check its OCD which means open circuit voltage and the in internal resistance final time to make sure it's okay then Everything is okay. Put it to the warehouse. Okay, that sounds great. But how do you control all the process efficiency? Uh, first one, we need to guarantee the sales. Our company has the fully automatic production line yes. imported from South Korea with high accuracy and high efficiency. We also can strictly control the producing environment. The dual, 
the dual point of the positive plane is minus is less than minus tw twenty five degrees, and the water can water contact of the uh, negative plane is less than one thousand eight hundred ppm at three hundred degrees. Uh, the air pressure of the workshop we kept at negative at uh, minus five kilopascal. We also require our worker if they want to enter the workshop, workshop, they need to be air shower off uh, with the dust proof, dust proof clothes. The dust proof is reached to. 10,000. So all of this strict control can guarantee the coincidence of our sales. Uh, for the production of the pack, according to the ideals of the lean production, we manage the people, material, and the machine strictly implemented according to the requirements uh, IATF 16949, ISO 9001, etc. At the same time, we use 5S, TPM, TQM, etc. to monitor the process, ensure the production process and our qualities, uh, our, the quality of our products. Our quality personnel takes up about 10% of the total employees, which can that means the this stuff is is sufficient. There is a standard incoming per material per uh, there is a standard incoming inspection process, and uh, also have the testing capability and the inspecting capability for the key characteristics. Uh, so we also implemented statistic process control, which is short for SPC, to monitoring the produ production process and the analysis the statutes for key steps. There always exist some key steps to make sure the production process is under control and uh, our product quality is guaranteed. <coughs> our and uh, I also need to I also want to mention our company's fee feedback mechanism from customers and uh, we refer to the advanced management methods from the enterprise, which in developed areas and uh, countries like Japan, American, and the European. We also formulating standard process handling uh, the customer co complaints to make sure effectively and timely to the eliminating customers this factory. Okay, perfect. But is that means all the customer can use the battery without any concerns? Mm, actually, there are also still some tips of using you should know. First one, batteries are equipped with protection circuit board, you know. So <clears throat> You need to pay one pay attention to the environment, which is free from the st static electricity, because the static electricity, especially above one thousand volts, will damage the protection circuit board easily. Without the protection circuit board fully function, the battery is easier to get wrong. It will maybe it will hit smoke 
or even catch fire. Mm. Two, refitting. We strongly recommend that refitting the battery without authorization is forbidden because the refitting is also easy to damage the protection circuit board which will cause the problems I mentioned just now mm, Yes. 3. Uh, try to avoid put the battery upside down while you carry assembly and uh, testing so the direction is also important. Yes. For the importance for temperature and humidity, keep uh, we strongly recommend you put reserve the battery on a place which is dry and uh, ventilates. The storing temperature uh, shall be less than thirty five degrees. The relative humidity shall be less than 85% and uh, oh please remember keep the battery away from the inflammable and the explosives yes that's very important mm, right and the uh, fifth when choosing the charger please uh, choose the right type could compatible with the battery especially mm, we recommend it to choose the charger exclusively used for the battery pack lithium ion battery pack six uh, had better not to put the battery pack mixed with other some battery pack of other manufacturers and all some other types the discarded batteries, uh, please do not throw it uh, casually. We need we need to discharge it to the end of voltage. Make sure it is zero SOC inside it. Yes. Okay. So let's all. And uh, if you have any other questions. Please do not hesitate to contact with us. The contact way is under the live screen. And thanks for your listening. Okay, thanks, Clark, for sharing this interest to us. Okay, to thank all the customers here, we have the special gift for the lucky guys. So, how to be the lucky guys? It is very simple. Okay, pick up your phones and then open the Facebook. And search the Dynavo Tech China. How to spell Dynavo? D Y N A V O L T Dynavo Tech T E C H Tech China C H I N A China. Search Dynavo China Dynavo Tech China. And then click it. Read the Dynavo news. Finally, follow with us. Um, if you will be ranked the APAs from the Facebook, so you will be the lucky guys who can get the special gift. So what is the special gift? Let me show you. The first one, it is the Dynamo Lion Dog. It is the mascot of the Dynamo. And the second one is the cap. Dynamo cap. And the third one is the T-shirt, Dynamo T-shirt. It's orange with the Dynamo logos. This is too big for me, but we will prepare the suitable one for you. So don't worry about the sizes. And if you will place the order during the Cattle Fair Live, and we will give you the special gift for you. Let's have a look. This is the 30th anniversary gift. It's a black box. Open it. You will see there is a black 
cap with the 30th anniversary logo. And this is the scarf. The scarf, it can protect your neck. And the third one is a t-shirt, black t-shirt. It is also with the Dynamo logos. And the theory is very good. And the last one, it is the water bottles. So this one, it has four kinds of in it. Okay. Now it's the free time for us, so anyone who can, who have the question, you can contact us without any, que any questions. Uh, besides, for your information, uh, we can only not only product per, provide the products which already mature with design and uh, production. We can also develop a new product according to your requirement, such as the protection circuit board I've mentioned. For the for these three types, they just have the hardware version. But we, if you want a software version, it is okay. For example, if you want to have a GPS function, the GPS is lo located for the anti theft. It is it's okay as long as you specify all the details we need to know. Then we will conducting it. Uh, strictly according to the APQP procedure, Advanced Product Quality Planning. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to contact with us. The contact way is under the left job. And uh, thank you. Okay, Clark, we got the new friends. He wants to know the capacity of the productions of the Lisian Island pack. Uh, yeah. Which areas are the main market for this one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is a good question. I have to say, for the manufacturing, the production volume can up to one thousand pieces per day, and uh, our products many sell to U U S A, Canada, Germany, Netherlands, Italy, and uh, some other European countries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is another question from our new fans. Yeah, from the live. One of the fans he wants to know about the two drivers who behind us. Okay, I will let you know. Dynamo has signed the Germany racing team called the Intat from the MotoGP. At this size, he is the number twelve of the uh, driver. His name is Tom, who got the second prize in the MotoGP last year. And on the right side, his name is called uh, Marcio. He is the number 23 driver. He got the third prize in the MotoGP last year. So this year, we hope these drivers, our friends, can get a better job in the MotoGP again. What's more, we also become the sponsors of the BMW team and the Dynamo Honda team which planted a seed for the internationalization of the Dynamo brand and let more and more people know about the Dynamo products. Larry? Yeah? I think there is a thing. For a moment, please. Larry, another fan want to know is it possible to do the OEM brand? Yes, we can do the OEM brand. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, but our recommendation is that it is better to do our brand first. Why? There is uh, two points. The first one, we can make if the customer make a winning cooperation with us on the Dynamo brand, 
we will give the special discount for the customers. And the second one, we will prepare the special gift and the valuable gift for the customers who can promote the marketing in their areas. So this is the full points. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. There is a new customer who want to know our location. Maybe they want to visit us. Wow. Know about our location. <laughs> yeah. Now we are recording the live in our headquarters. It is located in Chenghai District, Shantou City, Guangdong Province. As uh, as for the manufacturing center, it is in Zhangzhou City, Fujian Province. So it will take one hour by car from the headquarters to the manufacturing centers. Dynamo was found in 2001, which specializes in the manufacturing, marketing, and is on the AC battery and lithium iron battery. We sincerely welcome to visit our headquarters and the manufacturing centers. If you fly to Guangzhou or fly to Xiamen, don't worry. You can take the high speed train from directly meet us. Now in China, the domestic transportation is very convenient and easy for everyone. We can see China is getting stronger step by step. Uh, Dynamo is growing the speed of China. We are so proud of the Dynamo products because we make in China. That's all. Thanks. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye.